Hello and welcome back to another episode of uh, XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and we're playing Legendary Iron Man on this beautiful mod. Uh, we take off exactly where we have left the game. Uh, it is time for a smash and grab uh, mission Operation Moonstar. And if we take a look at our squad, we are going in with a really nicely balanced squad. Uh, Shinobi and an assault for the front line. A technician for cover removal and a specialist and sharpshooter for uh, the support and the backline. Um, as always with smash and grab, anywhere between 0 and 12 um, chests are available given that we might run into the warlock. Uh, I would say our target is probably around 2 to 4 chests. Let's go. Good, and here we go once again. The question that I'm asking myself is, will I be able for once to end a mission in less than 30 minutes? We got a nice vision barrier here and high ground, so it's actually a really good start. Um, let's start with our Shinobi. As long as we're not being detected, everything's gonna be fine. The drone... The drone will not detect us if we're getting up, up here with our sniper. But we gotta be careful, because uh, once the drone would detect us, the timer is going to start. Let's put our specialist up here as well. Rec time and our front line needs to come over here. Good. So, the idea is we hopefully want to. Let the drone move away. Which is which it does, sort of. Yeah, but then another drone comes in, so that stinks. All right, moving our sniper into a better position. This hopefully it does not trigger anything. Okay, it doesn't. That's good. Moving our shinobi into a better position. Got to be a bit careful here. Thanks to the SMGs, both the Shinobi and our um, technician are not going to be detected that easily. I'm okay with double movements because we have ever vigilance, so that allows us to take overwatch shots even if we spend two um, units on movement. I am wondering if we can get the specialist into a better position. I don't personally like this or this position. Probably should have gone over here. Whatever. It's okay for now. All right, so far, none of the enemies <coughs> has detected us. I, 
I really like to keep our shinobi hidden for now. So normally I would go for for an standard play here, which is waiting until they run into our overwatch. But I think that's not a clever idea. So we got armor penetrating rounds on only the sniper apparently. Yeah, she got tracer rounds. The problem is we're prob we're most likely not going to deal seven points of damage here. It's unlikely. And as soon as this drone here moves, it's essentially game over for the shinobi. Hmm. Hmm. After a little bit of thinking about it, we might need to um, lose the cover of the shinobi. Going to try to uh, to not have that problem, but anyways, here we go. It's quote unquote on. Uh, let's see if we can kill the drone. Would require a crit or maximum damage. Almost maximum damage. And there we go, that's... Uh, yeah, that is... being spotted out. Getting rid of uh, drone number one and easily finishing drone number two. Hostile neutralized. Okay, so done. Uh, we don't need to mark supplies right now. The reason why I'm not marking it is from next round onwards uh, we're going to um, have supplies marked. And beginning of next round we can still mark for free. There is a chance that this crate here is going to be marked from the aliens. So essentially if we're not marking it this turn it gives us a little bit more breathing room. Okay. As for running in, let's double move, Heading out. grab this loot here, which is hopefully um, a lot. Uh, it's pretty much the opposite of a lot. A PCS is nice though, so it's not bad. And we're overwatching. See, that's exactly what I mentioned. So now that we're marking the supplies. Good work. Advent's locator is down and our transponder is active. Firebrand will handle the pickup. Perfect. Hmm. So how do we want to do that? Okay. Good. That's another supply crate marked. We might want to carefully advance, to be honest, for the, uh, for once. We got another crate here. 
We know it's 10 to 12 enemies, right? Mm. We can realistically get that crate. Maybe this one here. We have absolutely no idea what's over there. And unfortunately, we lost our um, ability to move fast. Let me think about that. Um, no, nah, we don't need any of this. Uh, that's a good one, but not needed right now. Just moving over here. Yeah, I was hoping that we would find the tower. If we found a tower end now, the pack has not been triggered. That's not bad. Okay, so we can essentially double move over here. And that will still give us overwatch because we have ever vigilant. At the same time, we're double moving over here. Solid copy. All of these positions were safe, so nothing is triggered. And this here deals with the tower. No longer a threat. Perfect. Now we can't stabilize the weapon, which means we're just normally overwatching. Yeah, I don't want to move any further. The crates are being transported off after the alien's turn. So we're going to stand behind the crate. We know there is another pack of two right next to the tower. We killed three so far. And now we got a ton of losses coming in. Who should trigger the overwatch shots? Oh boy. I was hoping that we would find... Um, now, I was hoping that during the overwatches we would be able to see a bit further into the fog of war. Okay, so let's take a look. Okay. It looks like our specialist needs to take care of business here. It's one down. Two down. Three down. Reload. Uh, that's only 80% shots. Might be better to have someone else do it. <coughs> I like the idea to go a bit further. Uh, but I also like the idea to kill the pack over here. 
These here are not yet marked for recovery. You know what? Let's move over here. There's another crate. And we're triggering the pack. Should be only one pack. Okay, we're looking at two grenadiers and the specialist. Okay, fair enough. Good. I think we can't kill all of the lost. Well, we could, but I think it's not worth killing all of the lost right away. Might as well take down one. We got an auto loader. Target eliminated. Back online. And we got a pretty solid chance of hitting the grenadier here. Very nice. Theoretically could get another turn with teamwork. We can't sprint all the way to there. We're basically standing here by the, uh, by the way. So we could move into full cover and leave it at that. Probably not the worst idea. Yeah, let's do that. We're killing just a few more. 100% shots. Free action reload. Um, going into cover here to basically cover for that flank as well and let's take an overwatch here again I don't want to Trigger another pot, so we're really carefully advancing. Hostile target down. Target neutralized. Drain an ammo fast. Good, we're reloading. And this might or might not be a kill, who knows. Good, reload. I think overall successful. We dealt with the loss almost com uh, completely. Got two overwatches on this side here. We are in full cover, so I'm not terribly afraid. Yeah, the Overwatch really worked out well for us. Okay.
So yeah, we essentially need to move this turn. Dealt with the loss really nicely. And we got this one pack over here. I am prioritizing the Grenadier. So that worked well. We do not have... Ah, we do not have lightning reflexes. Ah, we have it here. Okay. Alright. Moving up to here to trigger the overworld shot. We still have run and gun, that's why I'm not really worried about it. And this should be a kill. Alright, that worked out like a charm. Are we greedy? And are we going to go here? I don't know. I mean, we killed like what? Three enemies plus three, that's six. It depends how many crates we're trying to get so far. Everything was very controlled. I mean, we could get one crate here for sure. And we were, we would already be at four crates, like this one here plus this one here is four crates, which is what we came for. Plus we get some extra loot here, and that might be another crate. So, <clears throat> I'm trying to be not greedy this time. Could have gone there, but it might have triggered yet another pack. And really, the last thing that we need is unnecessary wounds. For once, a nice little flawless mission would be good. We got our ha ass handed so heavily in the last mission because I, I decided to do a very difficult mission with only six soldiers. Of course, Bradford, as so often, puts it into perspective and tells us that we are doing a bad job. By the way, the number one comment that I'm seeing in the Reddit of um, XCOM 2 is that new players feel intimidated by Bradford because he gives them the feeling or the assumption that they are doing a really, really bad job. Copy that. And I can see why. Object captured. Nice. Two, two pieces of loot. That's really good. We don't want to go too far and careful, knowing that if we get too, too far down the rabbit hole, we're going to trigger something else. So we're keeping the line for now. Next turn we're going to take that 
and that I'm forfeiting basically the ones back here because we don't have enough manpower. We we slowly need to push uh, this line forward. I'm ready. On Overwatch. 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 Come and get some. Reloading. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. Yeah, not yet, Firebrand. But almost. Confirmed. Good. So... So far that was an incredibly straightforward but yet well working mission. I like where this is going. We're not going to take this one. Moving out. This here might trigger a pack. Ooh, snakes. Okay, first and foremost, let's mark the supplies. Secondly, what can our sniper do? You know what? Let's go for this Viper here. Because I don't like the fact that it flanks. Might be able to deal with this Viper here ourselves. Unfortunately, a miss. Can't hit them all. Definitely a good time for 45 for us. Nope, can't fully reach. Well, Could reach that Viper here. The last pack is most likely going to be back here. So the question is are we going to go in or not? Move all the way over here, put on our fortify and take shots. Pretty 50-50-ish. You know what, we're going to do a, something different. Rec time gets an 8 protocol. Together with his defense, he should be pretty much at even higher levels than full cover. I like him to retreat. which essentially forces the enemy to come to us. We're fortifying our position. 
Oh shit, I wouldn't need to do a run and gun because we do have Ever Vigilant. Mm, my bad. Could have just moved her here and she would have overwatched regardless. Are we going to overwatch or are we going to take the shot? If we're overwatching, uh, the Viper is going to poison spit us and the overwatch will be gone. So I'm taking the shot. It's fine, not a big deal. Overwatch here. And let's try this again. Yep, uh, not the best. Not the best aim this round. So we, we maybe take um, some damage. We're anyways done here. <clears throat> Unless something really, really poor happens. Alright, we're seeing some overwatch and that's fine. Let's remove one overwatch, maybe even kill it. Overwatch removed, unfortunately the thing isn't killed. We can't yet move all the way out of here. This here is going to trigger Overwatch, but with Lightning Reflexes we should be fine. Hmm, it's not, which was a bit unexpected. Alright, in that case, since we can leave with him next turn directly, might as well remove the overwatch. Yep, we can reach the exit also without a problem, this here might be a kill. Yeah, we're not going to move in. Beat, beat. All right, last round before we move out, everyone here should be in range of the exit. Enemy simply double moves, so that's fine. We can't keep the corpses of the Vipers anyway, so no point in being sad about not being able to keep them. And I almost made it. I almost did a mission in 30 minutes. That was the last pack here, by the way. Interestingly enough. Come 
Looks like they called him back up. Okay. Let's get to the evac zone, shall we? Good to go. As soon as the losts arrive, Copy that. it becomes more and more a slideshow. Good, so we got ourselves six crates and flawless the mission, which is much better than I would have expected. It was a combination of really solid um, moving and advancing only as much as we need to, triggering one pod at a time. But it was always uh, also a function of um, being a bit lucky that the Warlock hasn't shown up yeah, 19 kills, flawless mission, smash and grab completed. Alright, here we go. So, we got ourselves two promotions. Revival protocol, definitely. Not even a question. I like it a lot. We got a few things going for us here. Long watch, not bad. But I think we're going for low profile. Because, more often than not, specifically high ground has a half profile and making that essentially count as full uh, cover is super helpful. We've seen it last mission, for instance, where our sniper was in half cover. Now, we're not going to go for either of those, although field medic is, an, is nice. Bring it on, super good, combat finance, super good, rupture, super good. So. Um, Taxman is going to be a machine once uh, he gets to the higher level. Nice, nice little master sergeant level. Got ourselves 35 supplies, that's not bad. Alloys, Alarium, Crystals and some loot. I like the PCS speed, that's not bad. Okay. Pretty good. So, we're almost at the next mission, by the way. Let's heal in the meantime. Setting course for east and I'm pretty sure that very soon the next mission is going to pop up because we have so many missions in the pipeline that we're now needing to finish all of them. Okay, so, like I was saying, that's going to be our next mission, Operation Rotting Spear. Uh, neutralize an Advent uh, target. Uh, get Advent's attention is not what we wanted, but it pays a lot of intel. Uh, the get advance attention is bad. Hmm. However, it's the first time that we're going to go with our Reaper, and I'd like to see her in action as well. It's going to be fun. Yeah, let's still do it. Okay, anyways, that's going to happen in the next mission, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. You know the drill. Leave a comment down below um, or a like for the videos. See you in our next mission. Bye-bye.